there's just too much there's too much and you guys need to see it because some of this stuff is so dope it's so so cool um so i wasn't going to do one but i just was looking at my desk this morning of stuff that i have to dress and get out the door um and i wanted to show you guys because it's been a minute and i miss you and I, we're still in full swing i'm adding a few things here and there it's a mystery um for what is going to get added into the christmas fishmas giveaway um you guys saw the video on that i will leave a link in the description below go comment on that right now if you haven't already be subscribed to the channel smash that thumbs up button for me and good luck drawing again on that video on that on the fishmas is going to be um christmas eve at high noon eastern standard time but in the meanwhile there's stuff there's a lot of stuff so one of the things that i wanted to show you guys that i'm just super amped about and uh really love the way these came out i may have shown you one of these before um without the i know my hands are trashed from ink and stuff um i might have shown you these before but this is the Hulk colors, the green and purple, could also be the Green Lantern. There's a few, like, bad characters, um, comic book characters that come to mind as well. But um, just loving the green and purple and the three-dimensional properties of this bait. And they are shipping out. This is the last of them. I only did ten of them. These are the final four. And they're all a little bit different. They're all a little bit unique. So no two are the same. They are numbered one through 10 on the bottom. And these are the final six through 10. So congratulations. I'm glad you guys got the limited edition for those of you that did. And I have your orders right here. We'll show that quickly. Um, so they're going out and just, yeah, no two alike. Just so stoked the way these came out. I don't think that a good interpretation could be done for mass production, so absolutely have to keep it to to these limited. And you're you're gonna see tons more cool limited releases in 2021. Once I get all settled, it's been it's oh, <laughs> it has been the most chaotic period in my life I think ever, but it's okay. Um, just one step at a time. This is a green hollow olive craw. And I haven't done one of these in a while, but Jessica Witherspoon um, ordered a couple of tidbits. I don't know if I should have said that. Did I just give away the game, Jessica? Ah, I got to talk, you know, I got to talk to her on the phone the other day and it's unusual when like, I get calls for orders and stuff like that, but it's really cool when somebody that's also subscribed to the channel calls and they're like oh my gosh it's really you and i'm like yeah it's really me i answer my phone and, and, every, and everything um so yeah uh, had fun talking to you jessica i'm glad that i got the chance to know you a little bit and uh merry christmas to all and to all happy casting so just a, a few pieces that i'm showing off here i'm kind of trying to go through rotation quickly this is the rancid rat in the bloody brown with those blood red eyes Well, this is going out to Brian. Brian, I did put your name on the bottom of it. So this is the second of the two gills that I did for this particular. Now, this is an H2O Express, and uh, the swim bait itself is really cool. It's a good swimmer. You can get them at Academy Sports. They're not ridiculously expensive, but the work that goes into detailing something like this is... Um, so there's a lot of effort, a lot of layering, a lot of hand detailing that goes into a bait such as this. And I am super stoked to get this to you, Bri. Thanks so much for ordering it. And it should be heading out. Uh, I want to dress it. I'm going to try and get all these. It's Monday morning, but I've got loan stuff to do. This is under here is my uh, the last stack of forms that need to be filled out and, and gotten to the loan company for the house and this house is sold i mean it's just it's crazy why did i pick this time of the year to do it because the georgia housing market is so flipping hot that if you don't nail down a house the minute you see it it's gone like it's literally gone and you're left with like junk 
and nobody wants to move into an old smoke-filled, nasty-smelling, nasty-kept mobile home or anything like that. So you have to like jump on them as soon as you see them, and when that happens, it happens. So it's not necessarily like, well, we'll move after trade shows. Trade shows are getting canceled, dropping like flies left and right, but I understand that. Um, it's for safety precautions, and it's for you know trying to quell the spread of, of every all the craziness that's out there. Um, toxic crappie, showstopper, and an accidental acid wash. So you know I've gotten uh, maybe 15, 16 different. You guys are going back and watching my videos, and and I appreciate you guys doing that. That really makes me smile. Um, knowing that I just have not had the chance to do any spray sessions. I'm just massively trying to get your Christmas orders out and my other commitments to Bullshad. I've got commitments to other, I touched on it briefly. Um, I've got commitments to these folks um, up in Chicago. So there's lots and lots and lots and lots more stuff to be revealed for 2021. I'm kind of keeping a lid on it um, only because there's just, there's just some cool stuff that I absolutely don't want to reveal yet. So this is the bronze back in a 1.5. Fun little bait. Love doing these. The army green. Last of the bull shads that I have in my possession. My goodness, it has been a beast. So there was a Black Friday sale um, that went pretty much the entire month of November. And mail being what it is, it has been, they've been under tremendous duress in their DC and their distribution centers trying to get stuff through the mail and to their customers. So I'm just, I'm very patient. This is no fault to Ketchco, but I am waiting on a metric S ton of, of these. And the thing is, I have others that are blanks that I can't use because they're not in boxes um, from them you guys your product comes in a box and it comes in a box um, with my little Jekyll fish head on it um, as of now it does anyways I, I don't know if that's going to change here in the future but you guys deserve a box especially if you're giving them away for Christmas presents and yada 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 so it's just do, do I sound a little stressed I, it's not but anyways it's not Ketchco's fault by any means they're just it, it's mailing delays and now with this vaccine that has just been put out into and approved both FedEx and UPS which are Ketchco's two primary shippers a lot of their stuff is being rerouted and I and I get that but so if you guys have an open order with me for the bull shad not the bull gill these are the gills um, but if you have an existing bull shad that's the slender body um, this was my last one in stock, and I promise you, as soon, as soon as I get them back in stock, you guys are going to have them to your door. Um, I will spray them, and we'll do everything that we can to get them to your door on time. This is a Roy. If you guys don't know what a Roy is, it is a peacock grouper. It's called a few different names. They're delicious fish to eat. And I happen to be watching uh, Cavi from Morning Tide Fishing. They all do their own offshoot videos as well. They have separate channels and then they come together and do like group camping, fishing, catch and cook, crazy wilderness survival stuff. If you guys don't know who Morning Tide is, go check them out on YouTube. Uh, they've got a really cool logo. It's a triangle with a treble hook in the middle of it. They do a lot of reef, like off ledge fishing in saltwater. And Cavi, while he was on a seven day solo survival trip, happened to catch one of these and just, or a couple of these actually, and they are just such badass looking little fish that I had to do a reproduction of it. And that's pretty much exactly what it looks like. They're beautiful, beautiful fish. And uh, they're mainly in the Pacific and the Indian Ocean. I know Indonesia is where he was doing the, the camp survival and uh, caught a few of these. So they're just, they're gorgeous fish. This is also on this little um, Academy H2 Express multi-jointed swim bait this thing is 4.5 inches and it's just a little bit over an ounce like an ounce and a half and they swim like fire man these things are great for their price point they're phenomenal really really good baits love them got one of my favorite to do and i think i'm going to drop this onto a baby bullgill as well what i let me ask if you guys want to if you're still with me at this point in the video 
What would you guys like to see for customs uh, in the future on baby bullgills? Something like this. This is um, that bloodline trauma blue or blunt force trauma. I forget what the actual name of it is. Uh, expiration blue, expired blue. Anyways, it's one of the bruised up baits, uh, colors, patterns from Tom Gore at Createx. And this obviously is that red breasted sunny. My interpretation of it as such, um, really amped that uh, this came out looking like it did. Looks good enough to eat. Did a ghost gill. And you can see when I put that up to the camera, you call them ghost gills because there's no base paint. Usually ghost patterns. It's very translucent and you can see through the bait. So I put a picture of this up over the weekend on my Facebook page and I think Instagram as well. So if you guys are not following me over on Instagram, go ahead and hit that as well. It's at Jekyll424, which is also my fish head logo, the customs logo. So it's Jekyll424 over on Instagram and then at Jen Crevasi on Twitter. A P. Did a pea, did a peacock. And I did a more of a burnt orangish one because some, some of them that I've been seeing a lot lately, especially this time of the year in Florida, South Florida, uh, they're just super, super dark and just delicious. The colors are fantastic. So this is that, that red tail. And then we have an electric crappie, just cause, cause I love this color green. Who wouldn't? It's almost Guggen Green, wouldn't you say? Baby Garter Snake. Got those Jetson Custom Eyes. And the Dusted Shad. Very simple stripped down pattern. Just a little bit of light blue. And then just a little bit of bone coloring and dust the top of that thing with a little bit of black magenta. Yes, you can light, when, you, when you're dropping black magenta as a detail color over top of existing paint, look at the difference between how that turns out and how the black dot turns out. Big difference. Still, yes, to date, Andrew DeBay, my favorite detail color is black magenta. My second is that expired blue. I think that's the name of it. Again, who knows, who knows. Ah, teaser. And yeah, you guys have been seeing its butt the whole time. Other teaser. That, folks, fish heads of all ages. Thank you guys so much. That is all the news that's fit to print today. I really appreciate you guys swinging by the channel. I know it's been a while since I've done an update. Love you guys. Mean it. Have a fantastic holiday season. I'm fairly sure, almost 100% sure, that this is the last one that I'm going to be shooting from this studio in Jonesboro, Arkansas, in the garage. Next studio is going to be a studio. How cool is that? I could not be where I am without your support, without all of you guys. Um, I do have a Patreon account. I hate to ask. I, I never like to ask. It's always there. There's a link down below in the description. If you guys are interested in kicking some juice into my moving fund, that would be awesome. Um, I give back to the community year round. I do as many giveaways as I can. I try and teach the community as much as I can. But in order to make that all move smoothly and the gears turn the way they're supposed to, unfortunately it takes funding. So if you guys are interested and you can help out and you want to continue to see me pump out lots of cool content, I would be grateful. Um, if not, that's totally cool. There is not going to be a difference in how I treat anyone. Uh, I love you all, and I will always continue to teach you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel, for being a part of my advancement in the career. I will always tell you, keep spraying, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.